And if you were wondering if we use the same brush for our stuff that we do for the dog, we do not. We have ours lying right here and the dog's is lying right there. It's the same color though, so that could be an issue. During this uh, challenge, this making one video every day during August challenge that I've given myself, my main cameras is my iPhone 13 Pro and my Sony a7 IV. I also have the Sony a7S III and you might ask why am I not using the Sony a7S III as this camera is the video featured camera Sony has to offer that is not in the cinema line. And the reason for that is because of the megapixels. The Sony a7 IV, it has a 32 megapixel sensor, while the Sony a7S III only has 12. The 12 megapixel sensor in the Sony a7S III makes it so that this camera can shoot both regular 24, 25, 30, 60, and 120 frames per second, without cropping in onto the sensor. With that low megapixel count on the sensor, the camera doesn't have to do all that processing to scale it down. That's why this camera, the Sony a7S III, doesn't overheat. The Sony a7 IV, this is a 32 megapixel sensor, like I said, and this sensor is actually a 7K sensor that downsamples that image into a 4K image. And doing all this processing is a heavy task for the camera and it generates a lot of heat. That's why you heard that the Sony a7 IV can overheat in some situations. My main lens for this vlogging challenge is my Tamron 17-28mm f2.8 lens. This is a budget-friendly vlogging or wide-angle zoom lens. This lens only costs around $799 US, I think, at the moment. And if you compare this lens to the much more expensive G Master lens from Sony, the 16 to 35 f2.8, the price difference is just says it all. This is a 17 to 28 millimeter, while the G Master lens is a 16 all the way up to 35. The difference between 16 and 17 millimeter. That's not that much, but I am kind of missing the 35 millimeter option with this lens. And that's why I'm using this lens with my Sony a7 IV instead of my Sony a7S III. The 12 megapixel sensor on the Sony a7S III, it's only enough megapixels to be able to create a 4K image. If you were to crop in on that 12 megapixel sensor in the Sony a7S III, the camera needs to put out a 1080p image. You will lose the 4K quality if you crop in to APS-C mode on the Sony a7S III. Having 32 megapixels in the Sony a7 IV makes it so that you can crop in to APS-C mode without losing any quality. So you can go into APS-C mode or 1.5 times crop with this camera and still keep a good 4K image quality even though you are cropping in. That's why I'm using this because if I crop in with this lens to APS-C mode, this lens now goes all the way from 17 to 28 in regular full frame mode. And if I crop in, I can get this lens all the way up to 42 millimeters. And that's why I use this camera instead of the Sony a7S III. Now our 
done with this weekend's work. Now it's back home editing this video. So, yeah, thank you for watching. Maybe I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.